NAD. We're gonna find out what it's all about. We're here at Proactive Health and Performance today and Dr. Cox is going to administer an IV NAD for us. I it in a push too, so I put it in quite quickly, mm -hmm. which feels just horrid. How'd you feel, Dave? Felt good. Yeah? I mean, I certainly didn't feel bad. I'm still unsure of what I kind of feel from it. Yeah, but it's still relatively new, and there's not tons of research out there on it. Yeah. On NAD itself, there's a bunch of research, <laughs> but not on this administration route, I should say. Yeah, so technically NAD is working on your mitochondria. It's what gives, um, it's what allows your mitochondria to function. And if you remember back to grade 11 biology, mitochondria is like the powerhouse of the cell. So Ooh. it's how we get energy. It's how we um, function. It's how ATP ends up being made through like a whole long process. So um, anything that would deplete your energy, theoretically, this would build it up again. Um, any sort of chronic disease, if we fix the cells, if we fix the base of why there is chronic illness, then theoretically, you that should get better. Pain should be improved. And as sure. we age, mitochondria have a tendency to slow down and die? Yeah, definitely. So we're... Um, our stores of NAD as we age start to decrease and then we start to notice like cellular aging um, and then the die off of those aging cells. So what we want to do is anything to support mitochondrial function, bring them up. Um, NAD actually works on um, a certain molecule called sirtuins, which has to do with the aging process and the cellular aging process. So um, the whole support of this, like they claim it to be anti-aging. I don't know how you would measure that, but um, technically what they're looking at is telomere length and sirtuin activation. Um, and that's how they make a projection on how it aids in longevity. But that feeling that you get yeah. um, doesn't go away ever. Like if we just kept it at that drip, that's the feeling that you would feel for a duration of time. Sometimes it comes in waves and goes mm -hmm. away. And what I've really been noticing now is where people feel pain or where their chronic illness is at is where the pain starts to present when it starts to drip. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So that's super fascinating to me. So for mm -hmm. you guys, I'm always interested where it would show up if there's nothing. I can feel it in my legs. Like it feels like, you know, when you run outside and they're cold and yeah. you come back inside. That's what you feel? Yeah. And then a lot of people say like gut stuff, but that kind of makes sense because we're all, you know, Guts. so many people yeah. have gut issues, right? Oh, yeah. That's right. And there's also no guarantee. Like you could feel nothing. You could feel, um, technically I've never had cases where I've never seen anything or made anything worse. Uh, and our body makes NAD all day anyway, so the dose that we put in here wouldn't be astronomical to the body in any sense. So yeah, it's, it's just uncomfortable. How much NAD goes into a drip? So 500 milligrams in 250 mils of saline. And how much would you like, could you do more? Could you do like a double or a triple? Yeah, so for some serious chronic conditions, um, and especially timeline wise, like the, um, the way that we, the protocol for it is about 10 IVs as close together as possible. Um, so I haven't done it, but some practitioners are doubling up the bag so you don't have to come every day, I believe. And I can feel my heart beating. And my knees actually get So you're not feel so much of it in my neck? Like through the tension in my neck? No, I feel like terrible. Like I had too much tacos or something in Mexico. <laughs> All right, this is post NAD. Um, just to give you guys a little bit of a quick background on this, um, we got to learn a little bit uh, about NAD, which is a really in has a really interesting concept to it. There's so many different um, claims: it prevents aging, it increases energy levels, it increases mental clarity. If you suffer from anxiety or depression, it can help to cure that um, or prevent it. So really, really interesting claims. And well, that meant I needed to test it. Kimberly said she'd come do it with me. And I guess the only factor to doing an IV NAD drip is that it makes you kind of feel shitty. Yeah, it kind of makes you feel sick to your stomach. The way Dr. Cox describes it is it kind of hits seems to hit uh, the weaknesses that are kind of within your own body. So Dave felt it differently than I felt it. More so the only way to, that I can kind of describe how I felt, I felt like pretty hungover and like it was that time of the month for me. 
It's a combination of that, and I also have weakness in one of my knees. I felt it targeted in that place, so. Different for everybody. As soon as it's done, you feel totally fine again. It's the weirdest feeling. Now, we're only literally a few hours uh, since, since doing it, so do you feel anything different? No. No. Not yet, but Coke said I probably, as a female, won't feel it till tomorrow. This is actually my second time. I had it done last week as well. They say that it uh, takes up to four uh, sessions before you can feel the full effects for to healthy. it. For healthy individuals, yeah. there's different applications for it, um, but four sessions of it is kind of like the recommended starting point. And I would say that I certainly don't feel bad. I feel really good since I had it administered last week. And again, coming up today, I feel really good. It's something that doesn't have a ton of research and stuff done behind it. We know a lot about NAD as it's produced naturally within the body. Um, its abilities to affect your mitochondria and speed up your mitochondria and prevent them from even breaking down and dying in the first place, which is how energy is transferred within our body. So it's got a really cool concept to it. I would never recommend anything until I really try it, unless it's something that I obviously cannot try. Uh, this was something that I got to experience and for myself, I kind of liked it. It makes you feel <laughs> shitty, but I kind of liked it. It's got a cool concept to it. We'll see what it does. Um, but that is our initial experience with NAD. If you've ever tried it yourself, certainly um, I recommend talking or doing some research on it. And in the meantime, we've got a whole bunch of cool other things we plan on doing here on YouTube.